Hey folks, it's Brad LeDrew here, Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today we're looking at our very first 2020. You can see it, the very awesome, the most off-road ready vehicle that the General makes, the Colorado ZR2, or in Canada, ZR2. Uh, so for our American friends, we'll keep calling it the, the, the ZR2 all day long here. So let's get into it here. There's so many nice things, so many things to talk about, but really it's all about the off-road capabilities in this vehicle, okay? So first off, you can get it in what we have right here, which is a 3.6 liter V6, direct injected, variable valve timing, dual overhead cam, producing 308 horsepower and 275 foot-pounds of torque, or you can get it in the baby Duramax, the 2.8 liter Duramax turbo diesel four cylinder, which produces a 181 horsepower and 360 foot, 369 foot pounds of torque, I apologize. Now, depending on if you go Duramax or you go naturally aspirated gasoline, you've got in the ZR2, 1190 pounds of payload in the Duramax and in the V6, this one here in front of us, you've got uh, 1385 pounds of payload. So a little more payload obviously in the V6 gas. Um, and when it comes to towing, whether you have the gas or the diesel, both are 5,000 pounds of towing. So there you go with some uh, hard numbers for you. And if you're the real enthusiast, so I mean, this truck is, the, like I said, the most off-road ready vehicle that General makes. So when you look at that, you can see the different bumper in, on everything. You've got a lift on this. You've got more body suspension, uh, height off the ground by I think two and a half inches more than the regular Colorado, plus the suspension lift, plus the different approach angles and departure angles because of the front and rear bumper differences. So you've got a lot of off-road capable things like that. But of course, uh, service, get in here. You have some amazing technology in this vehicle. So getting down low, I want to see if I can get it focused here a little bit. But the big deal with this vehicle is you get these Multimatic DSSV position sensitive spool valve dampening shocks front and rear on all four corners of the vehicles. Now you could spend a few hundred thousand dollars and buy a, um, oh, let's see here. You're looking at an Aston Martin 177, a Mercedes AMG GT. Um, or you could buy a ZR2 uh, truck instead of one of those high-performance hypercars. And uh, um, those um, shocks make actually this truck not only the most off-road capable um, small truck in the market um, or from what General Motors normally makes, but also, and I'm going to say it, and if you haven't heard it before, this is the nicest driving, okay, comfortable, quiet, the suspension on regular asphalt is on real. So if you haven't driven this truck, if you've driven a normal Colorado and maybe you've got a little bit of extra dough and you can, you can spring up, you can pony up for the ZR2, this is a nicer driving vehicle around town, even though it's an off-road vehicle. And normally you don't get that. Normally when you get our Z71 packages, you add uh, extra leaf spring, heavier uh, mono, uh, for, go from mono to a dual tube shock and stuff in the back and you get a little more of a springier, a little rougher, uh, you know, feel on the uh, for the ride, but not with these, um, you know, th these uh, DSS uh, Multimatic shocks, which is incredible. So that's the secret. Not only the most off-road capable, but also the smoothest driving Colorado Canyon on the road. So let's get into it. Just walk around and take a look at how nice this thing looks. And uh, oh, and I should say, uh, you can also get a stupid, stupid off-road package. And that would be the ZR2 Bison Edition. And if you've ever heard of the company AVE before, which is American, American, America, Expedition Vehicles, uh, they produce a ZR2 Bison package. And it's the first ever um, collaboration between them and Chevrolet. And you get your AVE uh, wheels and flares. You get five hot stamped uh, skid plates and under. So more skid plates, more protection under the vehicle than stock. And also you get your... Um, uh, AVE front and rear bumpers with your front winch provisions for the front for towing out your Yoda buddies. Uh, so with that being said, um, let's just walk around and talk about all the neat things with this vehicle and how good it looks. So obviously you got exclusive wheels. You can see you got a beautiful Wrangler, a Duratrac, very capable tire. You've got the new Duralife rotors again, so they don't corrode and rust the Duralife. Uh, they do a little bit of 
different technology when they bake them in the oven they add nitrogen so that they don't uh, they're not so susceptible to corrosion and also glazing you see the ZR2 in the rim which looks super sharp as well you can see the bigger fender flares and the moldings on the side as well you can see the different bumper in the front end and the normal truck where it's all cut out here as well again for approach and departure angles stuff like that see your black bow tie with your black ice grill you can see your tow hooks down low and let's just kneel down here you can see big skid plate in under here as well transfer case shield down further but we'll get down there and we'll get down on our hands and knees again you can see you've got your rock sliders here across so again you don't uh, dent up the uh, lower half of your truck say if you slide into a rock or whatnot when you're rock crawling so really really sharp again you can see that shock in the back here as well um, moving in you can also see you've got these felt line kevlar back so you don't get the pinging and panging when you're on the roads so you get a nicer quieter ride in your cabin again different bumpers so you notice like the normal colorado canyon you don't have the corner step because again that would lower so you want to have a little more room for your approach and departure angles that sort of stuff getting on down low so you can see in here you got a full spare tire duratrac tire here as well you can see those shocks as well you've got a g80 locking rear differential and you've also got a independent lockers for the front and rear inside which i'll show you in a second uh, you can see you got your four pin seven pin wiring right here and new for 2020 they did very little changes but this is one of them power lock and tailgate you can see easy drop tailgate factory spray and liner you've got your cargo tie down hooks in the corner here the fixed ones are rated at 500 pounds and then you can see the movable ones all kinds of gear on accessories you can have for this vehicle as well people really love that let's put this right back up capless fuel door and again if this was your uh, duramax diesel you'd have your def tank fluid uh, filler right there now you know there's room for adults and stuff in the back i really like how gm has the lower your headrest so you have a little more visibility that sort of thing but that's i mean the people and you got a little handle right here the people that are buying this really are not storage in the back here as well and under the seat but you know you're probably not buying this as a family mover so let's just move right around to the front and again you can see you've got some soft touch materials here you get the nice stainless steel which looks nice you got the chrome all your power door locks and mirror options here you can see the zr2 it's not focusing very well it's the sunlight here and you can see your driver's seat set our two in the headrest as well let's just go ahead and start her up You have Bose premium audio in this as well. Let's just move and turn on the volume here. So, pretty neat stuff. So, if you're rock crawling, if you're out mudding, that sort of stuff, that's a cool screen you want to leave it on as your off road screen. So, you can see your, you know, your pitch and your yaw and all that sort of stuff and see if you're in, in two wheel drive. And we have a little dial over here that i'm playing with you can see your trailer brake controllers right here as well and if you notice now it says that it's all wheel drive and you can see the screen light over here also letting us know and move it over one more and now we're locked into four wheel drive high now if you move down here to the center stack you've got some buttons here and pretty straightforward stuff so if you notice the X on the back and the X on the front, so this is your lock your, your rear axle or lock your front axle. And again, if you're an off-road person, you know why you're doing this sort of stuff. Really, really important things. You got your hill descent control, your box light in the back. But, and again, you've got the push this button once, it turns off, you'll see here. Your traction control and your stability control. Because again, all modern vehicles 
have a yaw and pitch sense, a sensor so that if your vehicle starts to, you know, lisp or, or slide left or right because of mud, it cuts engine power because it thinks you might roll. But again, you will want to disable that when you're doing your off-roading and having a little bit of fun in this thing. But again, if you're doing some serious stuff, you want to lock your rear. You can push this button here and you'll see right here on your dash, the X goes on the back rear axle right there. You can see the X is there now. If I push this button off, just watch it change. And there you go, it's back to normal. So some really cool capabilities, some really cool options you can do with this, like I said, with the lockers and whatnot. Uh, the other small change other than the uh, uh, rear power uh, uh, tailgate is if you go with the uh, navigation in this one now, it's now what's called a GM connected navigation. So you can use your OnStar for real time uh, active traffic as you're driving around as opposed to a fixed navigation with no connectivity. Um, so that connectivity, again, is going to be more like your Google Maps and giving you real-time road traffic reports as you're driving around and give you alternate routes. So that's an improvement in the navigation system. Um, but otherwise, same outgoing system. You've got a high-definition display with a high-definition backup camera. Um, you can see down here, down and low, you've got your heated leather seats with your three different levels of heat on back and bum or just your bum. you got your USBs. That's traditional auxiliary power and auxiliary here for your old iPod shuffle. Again, with your transmission, it's an eight speed when you go to the V6 or a six speed when you go to the Duramax diesel and you've got a plus minus button here. So if you see right now, it says P, I go into drive and then I pull it down to, to L. Now we can drive it in manual mode and, and shift up and down in when you're in the L mode. So Again, nice, really nice thing as well when you're doing your extreme off-roading, that sort of stuff. Maybe you're launching your boat and you don't want it to go out of first gear and you just want to be in regular four-wheel drive. It's a really neat option to have for yourself. And moving on down here, you can see we got a modern... Uh, it, again, it's not going to work for the like the really bigger phones, but you've got wireless charging here as well. Nice leather armrest, nice stitching on the seats. But a really quiet, comfortable vehicle... And like I said, you know, the look of this vehicle is incredible. But how well it performs off-road and on-road is why people buy it. And when you get into this vehicle, you get behind the wheel on gravel roads, you go muddy in it, and then you take it out on the highway and you hit those clips in the road, and you're going to be like, wow, this thing is incredibly quiet and smooth despite the fact of having a lift of on the body a lift on the suspension having the duratrack off-road tires all of that don't matter those multimatic shocks make all that difference for your ride and comfort and quality but there you go it's another quick one take shoot here from brad ledrew at western gm in drumheller alberta canada hope you guys really enjoyed this quick take on our first 2020 but it's just a beautiful vehicle. Get onto, down to your local chef store. Take one for a drive. You won't be disappointed. Have a fantastic day.